as you're part of the leadership team, you're also part of the Women in Cloud Board of Advisors. Uh, talk about is what was the intention for you to join the Women in Cloud Advisor team? And second, let's talk about the marketplace that you helped us architect. Yeah, well, first, uh, thank you again for having me. Uh, gosh, I remember last year's event just uh, just a short year ago and uh, getting connected to you and, um, uh, in, in 2019. And look, I got involved uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one was you um, and uh, the education that you gave me in, in two areas in particular. One was how uh, women-led businesses, women technology businesses were not getting their fair share of uh, corporate contracts, uh, technology contracts. And then the other uh, which really opened my eyes was the lack of um, capital investment and funding um, uh, that women were not getting access to and the gap that that left economically uh, around the world. Um, uh, and third is your coffee. I love your coffee that you make for me. It's just amazing. Every time I come over to your house, it's awesome. I don't know what's in it, but I love it. Um, so I won't repeat anything the other panelists said. I think every every one of them uh, did a much better job than I could talking about uh, what's been happening. Uh, the I think the next evolution, and I'll throw out some statistics for you, um, is around the acceleration to cloud. The thing that's accelerated with it has been the way that these solutions are getting procured. Uh, and in particular, um, how they're getting procured on uh, some of the cloud marketplaces. Um, uh, those would be ones offered, you know, by the cloud providers, as well as uh, companies like um, uh, AppDirect. And as as you said, we're launching uh, uh, now the uh, Women in Cloud uh, marketplace, which is solutions.womenincloud.com. Thank you uh, for the URL right on time. Uh, and within there, uh, we're showcasing uh, women-led, women-founded, women-developed um, technology and consulting firms. And where we want to take this is very simple. We want to be able to take these solutions and connect them to the cloud provider marketplaces as well um, and work with those cloud providers to carve out a section in their growing marketplaces for these women-led and women-founded businesses. And this is super important because as we look to increase the economic access, we will begin to find that um, more than 25% of SaaS-based B2B transactions are beginning to happen in these cloud provider marketplaces. In fact, in, uh, in this fiscal year, um, it's estimated that about 200 billion um, in, in overall transaction, if you take all of the cloud marketplaces combined, that includes companies like Salesforce, um, that have their own as well, um, there's $200 billion in B2B commerce that's now taking place. COVID, um, to the panel's earlier point, accelerated this even more because all of a sudden salespersons were no longer able to meet with their customers face to face. And so what do you do um, if you're trying to sell enterprise software um, or some type of technical services to, uh, to a customer? You know, you really have one choice, which is to prove to them that it can work and give them a digital, a digital consumption or digital subscription method. So uh, that'll be the mission this year um, is to connect this up with cloud provider marketplaces and expand the economic access, um, the procurement cycles um, that enterprises are going through using these new marketplaces. So thank you, Barry, for helping us architect a uh, a marketplace that allows uh, women to, like companies really find these solutions because that was the biggest challenge. And now with the cohort, all their solutions are there. We have 30 solutions that you can go and find information and their offers is also there for the enterprise market. So Barry, thank you for making this happen. <music>